6 16. You know, Laura, also I figured out today, Matt Wentz was on at 5 o'clock. It's going to get confusing. We got two mats in the house now. I know. So, what are we going to do, Betsy? How are we going to um, name them? So, uh, we were actually talking about this. We have a little call that we do uh, right. daily now, a little video chat. And I, I mentioned Stanny for Standridge. I, I don't know if he likes it or not. Uh, our boss calls me clingers, <laughs> which drives me bananas, but I go with it. So I don't know what we're going to do, but uh, we're going to have Matt S, Matt W. We've got all kinds of Matts in the newsroom otherwise. So uh, we'll get it all sorted out, certainly. But Matt Standridge is joining me now. He is our newest meteorologist on our team, if you haven't been catching up with us at 6 and 11 so far this week. And uh, Matt, you know, want to harken back to the smoke and the fires out in the western part of the country. A lot of folks on social media had questions about the smoke, and are we seeing that here in Northeast Ohio? Yeah, what's crazy is that a lot of the smoke that you're talking about has reached the Great Lakes and portions of the eastern seaboard. Now, of course, it doesn't look like what well, the folks are dealing with in California where you see those crazy pictures of the reds and the oranges in the sky, but we can track some of that smoke. I want to show you this map, this satellite image from NASA. If you look at it closely, you see some oranges and reds and yellows. Those are actually aerosols in the atmosphere, little smoke particles, and you can see where they are. If you look really closely, you got the wildfires in the west, but then if you see that red and orange, we have some in the high plains, we have some, of course, in the south, and then even some in the Ohio River Valley. And so that has traveled eastbound over the past several days and weeks as the wildfires continue to rage on. So we actually have some of that smoke in our neck of the woods as well. Here's another way to look at it. You see the colors on the map. You have all the colors in the west showing you where the, the fires are and where the smoke is starting. And then you have this plume right over northeast Ohio. So we can't see it though very well here just because of all the clouds and the fogs we've been dealing with. But we do have some of that smoke from California, from Oregon, right about 6,000 feet above our heads. Now, Betsy, we may get a front later this weekend, maybe try to clear some of that out, but some of it has traveled to Ohio. Right, and so the fog that we've had around in the low clouds, not the smoke, it's different. It's way up in the atmosphere and it'll be dispersed as things start to mix up. We've also been keeping a close eye on drought situation here in Northeast Ohio, though after Monday, I think everybody was kind of like, eh, that's done, and it pretty much is. We're down to only 18% of the state now, abnormally dry, no more drought as of right now. Clouds are still in place, they're gonna stay in place. Temps in the 60s as we go through the night. You can literally watch the fog erode from south to north on the satellite uh, picture here, the visible satellite. And of course, that's where the temperatures are a little bit warmer. That keeps things mixed up. We've been locked in the clouds, the fog, the damp air coming in off of the lake, and now we're in the 60s close to the lakeshore. It's all about the change, my friends, as that upper level low that's been sitting out in the western states begins to move. As it does so, you can kind of see it just moving very slowly up to the northeast. As it does so, it's going to take a lot of the energy. So the rain that you saw west of us, it's going to slide to the north too. And by the time we get to Saturday, we're going to find our temperatures going up. But at the same time, we will have to deal with a cold front that's coming on the south end of that low. And that could sweep in some storms by Saturday night into Sunday, but then we are off to a fantastic start to next week. National Design Mart hour by hour look at your day tomorrow. We're going to be in the 70s for the most part. We're going to start with clouds. Don't get me wrong. Still going to be a dreary start, but by the afternoon, I think we're going to get to see some sunshine. We're going to find the northeast wind kicking up a little bit, and that's going to help us out quite a bit. Universal Windows Direct Forecast gets us back into the 80s then for Saturday. Late day storms will be on the lookout for strong storms with that, but it will be cooler by Sunday, and oh boy, next week looks phenomenal. We'll be right back with a look at sports.